John Eats Cheap. We had a request from Jan saying, all this stuff you're making, that toffee looked good. It is good. Mrs. Cheap makes it. I don't. So she's going to make it. Here are the ingredients. Toffee is sugar and butter. Like a pound of butter, a couple cups of sugar. Top it with some chocolate chips and some sliced almonds, thin sliced. We add a little vanilla, a little baking soda. Baking soda is the secret to toffee and brittle. It makes it so it poofs up a little and is less chewy. doesn't stick to your teeth as much. It disintegrates better. You'll see. We're going to make the toffee. Mrs. Cheap working on John Eats Cheap. Mrs. Cheap making toffee. Start off with, what's that? A pound of butter. That's four sticks. Yes, it's a lot of butter, but it's needed. And this is a good, uh, this is an emerald pan. Not promoting emerald, but this cookware is great. And this thing is fantastic. For oh. cooking, it's, it's copper bottom. You want a heavy bottom pan for toffee. Yeah, you really do. It, he it heats more evenly and holds the heat. Won't overheat very quickly. They're really good. So these are, yeah, copper bottom pan. And the pound of butter going in. And we have two cups of sugar waiting. You want everything ready to go because once it starts going, it's going fast. I'll vouch for that. Mrs. Cheap will say, add the vanilla, add the vanilla. Now the, the, the baking soda. It is a, once you get to, what is it, 300 degrees? 300 degrees, hard crack. Hard crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that when my mom was cooking. Softball, hard ball, hard crack, soft crack, all these fancy temperatures. You do need a candy thermometer unless you're really talented and I'm not really talented. Show them your thermometer too, this, this is, is really my, cool. This is my spatula thermometer, it's a digital. And you wanna make sure it's on Fahrenheit. 72 degrees right there, you see it? <laughs> yeah, I had it on Celsius once and I'm like, it's looking right, but the temperature's not even close. We still got 100 degrees to go. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, Celsius. I'm gonna get the salt out of there because there's no salt in toffee. No, there isn't. And this toffee is so good. I'm telling you, if you love Heath, Heath bars, it's it's better than a Heath bar. Yeah, and you just wanna melt, this, melt the butter over medium heat. You wanna have a water with a little uh, brush ready to go because it, I'll show you when it gets that. Yeah, you kind of do it around the edges to because it, it forms little crystals around the edges. We're gonna lie. This is this is like a few ingredients. We say it's easy to make because it's few ingredients, but boy, you you're gonna see Mrs. Cheap. I mean, her arms are like uh, you know Popeye. Like like <laughs> Popeye. Yeah. I mean, you are constantly working this. Once you dive in, it's not like, well, we'll stir for a little bit and walk away. You're constantly working it. That's the difficult part. And that's why Mrs. Cheap does it instead of me. Well, and it's it's science. You you make it an art. I'm I'm a science cook. It really is, yeah. It's it's you specific do. temperatures and ingredients. You do. Whereas I'm more of a little of this, little of that. Yeah, we'll see when it looks good. And if you want to, you can break up the butter, but I don't break nope. up the butter. Science says don't do it. I, would. I, I can't take it. I'd be chopping that stuff up. <laughs> well, then you can come back when the, the butter's <laughs> melted. I'll come, back, I'll come back when the toffee is done. Uh, okay. So let's get that butter melted. It's melting. All right, there's the cookie sheets. We got two of them ready. And put them on a towel because I'm not kidding you. This toffee, when you pour it into the pans, is molten lava hot. I mean, it's, it's you know, hard crack. <laughs> Like, sugar. Like 300 degrees? Yeah, it's like 300 degrees and it stays that way for a long time. So we got those ready. You don't need to don't need to butter them or anything, right? Right. We just get them ready. There it is, our butter, one pound of butter, four sticks melted. Mrs. Cheap's going to add two cups of sugar. They go in there. Which is a pound of sugar. It's equal parts butter and sugar. Oh man, you are right. Now you, I mean butter and sugar, come on. You just got to stir it and get it all dissolved. Yeah. And, and it's at 72 degrees right now. 126. Oh, 126. That's true. It was melted butter. But we have to get to 300. 300 degrees. And this takes a while. It takes a while to get to like 275, 280. And then she starts saying 282, 285, 287. Get the stuff ready. <laughs> And you have to stir it the whole time. Yeah, you, uh, otherwise it'll burn. You'll get that brown butter and that's not good. So either have a backup person or go to the bathroom before you start. Yeah, yeah, be, be uh, you know, bladder cleansed and 
<laughs> and ready to spend 20 minutes probably? Yeah, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, or so. It just depends. We'll let Mrs. Cheap stir. 199. Still stirring. Let me see that temperature. What is it? 199. Hold it still. Hold it still. There we go. I think it oh, 197. Still. Okay. You just got to keep stirring, though. You got to keep stirring. You don't want it to burn. Butter and sugar will burn if it sits. And it, you have to, yeah, you really got to get the edges because it'll. you don't want any of it sitting there. No, that's that's trouble. And you, you want a big pan. I mean, it doesn't look like this fills very much of the pan. Yeah, it does. It looked, it looks like too big a pan, but, but it's no, not. No, you don't want a small pan for this because it, once it starts getting hot, it can like spit up little bits of buttery sugar. And it needs to be spread out. Yeah, you don't want it to, you don't want to get hit with toffee. So don't use a soup pan. Use no. a big you need, pan. Yeah, you need like at least like this size Dutch oven. What's this, a five quart? Or? You know, I don't even know the sizes. It's just the big one. The big one. Right. <laughs> like a Dutch oven size. Somebody asked me that about a casserole dish the other day. I was like, oh, three quart? I don't know. Right. And it's just starting to starting to get a little bubbly. The color's not changing much yet. And you really got to scrape those sides, don't you? Pretty soon you're going to start adding that water, right? Right. You and gotta, that just knocks the sugar down off of it? Well, because otherwise it'll crystallize and burn up on ah, the edges. Ah, sure. Don't want it, which, that will taste terrible. You do not want burnt toffee. I see. It looks like it's bubbling a little bit. It is. It'll bubble. But you don't want to go above medium. Yeah. Yeah. It's slow. you got to do it slowly. Okay. Just kind of go around the edges. That's just water. Yeah, just water. Just kind of above the line of sugar. Yep. Just, just knocks it down a little. Yep, and sometimes you'll hear it sizzle a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. Sizzle is good. You it's see it's really bubbling. What temp are we at there, Bear? Uh, 226. 226. Looking see, for 300. It looks really smooth. It's really bubbling. Yep, you got to get down and see where the edge, because that's yeah, where that you'll edge. start to see. That's the, important, isn't it? You'll start to see the color change there first before anything else. I'm not good at this filming thing. Geez, I have a degree in radio, television, and film. You'd think I'd be better, but the equipment has changed a lot in 35, 40 <laughs> years, so give me a break. It didn't fit in your hand we, before. We had big cameras, not these fancy 4D iPhones. 4K, honey. Is that what it is? Okay, 3D, 4K. <laughs> I'm at a loss. All right, keep going, Mrs. Cheap. I'm going. You start. 235. I'll film. It's going fast. All right, we're up to 250 degrees. I don't know what we are, 15 minutes in maybe, and almost it, that. It's starting to change a little bit. You can see where the color's changing And it's really, bit. it's uh, almost doubled in size here. It's kind of foamed up a little, and it smells great. I mean, it's butter and sugar <laughs> caramelizing. There's nothing wrong with that. Still got 50 degrees to go though, and this is where it's kind of, it goes slow for a little bit, right? It goes slow, and then like the last 10 or 15 degrees, It'll it's all off. of a sudden, it's like boom. Right. And you're still doing the water on the sides. Yeah. You just did that a second ago. Yeah, you do it a lot at this stage just because, see, it gets all up and you got to keep it because otherwise it will. You can use like a paintbrush. I'm using like a silicone brush. I think this is like for. Yeah, just a pastry barbecue. brush with water. Yeah. And not a ton of water, just enough to get it wet. I like the silicone because I always worry that there's going to be like a paintbrush hair. Yeah, those will come off. And, and just keep going, keep stirring. I am. I'm glad I'm not doing this. Oh, I'm exhausted just watching. <laughs> All right. So there we are. Look at that color. It's starting to look like toffee color, right? We're at uh, two what? Two seventy six. Two seventy six. So we're getting close. Yeah, it's going to start going faster now. We have our tablespoon of baking soda standing by and our splash of vanilla just in a ramekin there. By the way, when you when you go to Mexico, get vanilla. Look at that, the, the quart bottle, and it lasts forever, and it has no expiration date. It's pure vanilla, and it's like two and a half, three dollars. It's so crazy. buy a bunch, bring it with you, give it to friends, and save it. You can get the plastic bottles, but if you get the glass one and it breaks in your luggage, your clothes smell great. Yeah, yeah, get the plastic bottles. So we're getting this up to three hundred. I'm telling you, it smells really, really good. So we're 280, so it's going to take off here pretty quick. But look at how good and toffee-like that has turned. 
And this is why I like the spatula one, is because if you have a, a candy thermometer in there. You're Which you to, used for years. Oh, for a long time. And I, I hated it because I had to like go behind it and try and get around it. Oh, and, and then you bump it and knock it off. And oh, it, yeah. It's just a hassle. This is this is really cool. I don't know what it was, a couple bucks probably on Amazon, right? I think it was like 10 or 12 something Oh, was it? Like okay. That. But, but totally worth it. Yeah. It's it 286. Stirs. 286. It stirs and does the temperature. You scrape the edges. Looking you want good. it to be like the color of peanut butter. That's when. That looks like peanut butter, honey. Well, we're not there yet. Did you replace our toffee with peanut butter? Yeah. We're gonna add chocolate. It'll be a new taste treat. There you go. Two eighty nine. It's gonna go fast now. Two great tastes in one toffee. Yeah. Now once it hits three hundred, do you add the vanilla or baking soda first? I add the baking soda and then the vanilla. And the baking soda poofs it up. It, it has a reaction. But that's what makes it so it doesn't stick to your teeth as much. It makes it uh, so it disintegrates. Yeah, it melts in your mouth. Yeah, it melts in your mouth instead of sticking to your teeth and like pulling out fillings and fillings and stuff. Yeah, it makes it. It makes all. And I do that with brittle with the cashew brittle we make too. Yeah, boy, I'd sure like to see a video of that because that's really that's my favorite. <laughs> oh, two ninety three. It's gonna go. All right, somewhere. we're going fast, so we're all ready. And I usually help out here, but I'm feeling <laughs> so Mrs. Cheap has to do this on her own. Dewey, okay. you're no help. Come on, buddy. 295. 295. It's really taken off. 296. That is so hot. You do not want to touch this or splash it. <laughs> no. Or anything. Molten sugar. 298. We're almost there. She's And as soon as it hits 300, she'll pull it off the heat and turn 299. off the heat. 299. 300. 300. It's off. Now the baking soda. Tablespoon, stir that in. And you won't taste it, it'll like completely dissolve because this is really hot. Splash of vanilla, and it goes. It's probably about a tablespoon of vanilla. See, there's oh, the big reaction. reaction. Hot, hot, hot. Boy, that's steaming up. It looks weird, but it will come together here. Yeah, it looks a little uh, like, like it's, it's disintegrating or yeah. something, but it, it's not. That's just puffing up so the and getting gloppy. the air pockets in so there. She's scraping the sides there. It's getting the good air pockets, so that's going to make the make it tasty. And you just want to mix this up till it's incorporated, and then we pour it out, right? Right. All right. So you're going to want to move fast, honey. Oh, it smells great. Who wants toffee? Well, no toffee for you, Corgi. We're pouring out, and this is tough for one person to do. I'm usually helping, but now I'm filming. You just have to pour it out. You don't have to worry about spreading it out yet. But you want to get equal amounts. And you want to get it out before it burns. And try and get equal amounts in each pan. And don't be scared of what the pan looks like. Because John can tell you. It cleans so easily. It all, like all that butter and sugar just dissolves once you put water in it. You put water in it for like 10 minutes and it's, it's done. Okay. Did I get it all? That's pretty close. Give it one more swipe. And now this stuff is so hot. You can't touch you know, the skillet. You can't touch the Yeah, but you got time. Sheet. She's she's going to grab a spatula to spread it out. Uh, get that All right. up there. I just put a little bit of spray. Just nonstick spray on there. And this looks weird when she spreads it out, but it'll be fine. Yeah, it, it evens out. And it looks separated, but boy, that spreads out great. And it's great to use a big spatula like that. Just try and make it even, you know. This so is driving you crazy. <laughs> Well, you, you just want to make it even so it's all the same thickness. Right. You know. It's not going to be a perfect square. No, it won't it, be perfect. And as tempted, some will fall somewhere and you'll be like, oh, don't. No, don't touch don't it. Don't touch it. That stuff's 300 degrees and it stays that way for a while. Yeah. That's spreading out really well. It is. I'm doing a good job. And the bottom of the spatula, see, she sprayed it so it's clean. Otherwise, it would really stick. All right. All right. Then so that looks pretty good. Gotta get a little out of here. So what do we do now? We let it sit for just a minute, and then I'm gonna put chocolate on it. Okay. If you look, it's still kind of bubbly. Yeah. Keep it close. That's a good toffee color. But, These are just 
Milk chocolate chips? Milk chocolate chips. You can use semi-sweet or dark chocolate, whatever you like. And it looks like they're just going to roll around and they're not going to get do anything, but trust me. No chocolate for the dog. That's right. Chocolate bad. You do those otherwise the, out of the bag or by the handful or something. There you go. I usually do. I've done a few of these, babe. I know. You're just not used to not being in charge. Of I know. I'm not used to watching. <laughs> I usually just eat. All right. Well, honey, those are, I don't want toffee that looks like that. I want it evenly spread across the toffee. Well, watch. You just let this sit and the chocolate chips will get shiny. And that's when you know it's time. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. You're really going to want to like pick at those little pieces, but don't because they are burnt. And it doesn't look like there's enough chocolate, but it will spread out and it'll be nice and thick and beautiful. And yeah, those don't even look melted until you hit them with the knife. I know. It's when they're nice and shiny and you can see them. And you just basically just go all over it and try and get as close to the edge. Looks like a cake frosting. Oh yeah. Like I said, this is a, I'm using a milk chocolate. I've used semi-sweet. I've used dark chocolate. Whatever your family prefers. You just want a thin layer. Yep. And this is really a cheap, this is very cheap. Yeah, I, I mean, you consider what you pay for to I, toffee is an outrageous price. If you buy a bag of toffee, it's, I don't know, five to ten bucks for who knows how, six to eight ounces. This is, you know, two cups of sugar and two cups of butter. This is probably three dollars and fifty cents when you include the chocolate chips, the sugar, the butter. For all of this, for two sheet pans full of toffee. And granted, it is some work. Well, it is for Mrs. Cheap. She <laughs> did all the work. But it makes a good amount. You yeah. can half it. Like I said, just equal parts sugar and butter. Yeah, you don't have to do a whole big one, but you want to. Because it's a great gift. I give it at Christmas time every year. Yeah, this is all. We won't eat any of this. This is all for... Uh, uh, you know, people we, we work with and friends and, and family and spread it out. I'm spread. Well, we'll eat a little of it. Oh, you were saying spread it out for the the toffee. I thought you meant the chocolate. <laughs> like, I'm spreading, I'm spreading. No, 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 no. We got this one guy over here in the corner. Too. I'm going to get him. Okay, I hope so. And there's a hole. Oh, man. I have OCD. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and get this dude over here. Uh, one guy. There you go. I'm getting them. Don't worry. And then you top this with the, what are they, shaved almonds? Yeah. They're quite expensive, but they go a long ways. Yeah, it doesn't take very much. And if you don't like almonds or you're allergic, just don't put them on there. Yeah. Yeah, because this is no nuts until you add the almonds, right? Right. All right. See how thick it looks there? Yeah. And it doesn't look like a lot of chocolate chips. I mean, I didn't even use, like probably a third of the bag of chocolate, a 12 ounce chocolate chip bag. And that's, this is when you stock up, this time of year is when you stock up on your chocolate chips. Yeah. And this does have to cool for quite a while. Yes. You will be tempted to want to dive right in. But yeah, molt, molten sugar takes a while. Where's mine? I just got a big thing of sliced almonds. Natural. Yeah. I don't know what, what the other kind is. Unnatural sliced. And this is, it's very rustic, so I just kind of put them in my hand and kind of scatter. See, now that looks kind of familiar, right? And then you go back and fill in all the holes. It's like little wood chips you put on the garage floor or the shower in 8th grade <laughs> locker room. I guess I didn't have that in 8th grade. Oh, we did. There you go. All right. That's how you make it. Yeah, it just kind of makes it look pretty. I don't know if it affects the taste that much, but... This, you could do the same thing, and if you wanted to like crush up a bunch of almonds, you could make almond roca the same way. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. But that's a little more labor-intensive. I tend to go. Yeah, this is easier right out of the bag. Yep. All right. I think I got it. So there it is, and we're going to let these cool. Probably put them on the porch so they'll cool like, like they're in your refrigerator. No chocolate for the corgi. Mrs. Cheap did all the work. 
Now I get to show the fruits of our labor. Two cookie sheets of toffee. These are some we did uh, yesterday or over the weekend. See, it fills a big container. Great stuff. Got to do the taste test, right? Look at this. Little piece. See? Great thickness. Light chocolate. Melt in your mouth. Great stuff. Homemade toffee. Cheap. Not many ingredients. Time consuming. Takes a little effort, but it's worth it. Thanks for watching, and thank you, Mrs. Cheap. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.